In this video, we're going to look at a legal problem called longest repeating character replacement. So we basically given a string and a integer value k, and we want to find the longest repeating character after we, we can be able to replace k characters, right? If we were to have the chance to replace k characters in a string, what's the longest repeating character, right? And we want to return the, the length of the longest substring containing the same letter, right, after we perform uh, these operations, right? Now, in this case, we're only contained with uppercase English letters, right? So the string we're given is only contain uppercase English letters, and we want to re uh, re return the longest substring, right? So in this case, you can see here in, the, in this example, we'll just have to replace either AA or BB um, to return as four, which is the longest repeating character, right? And uh, in this case, you can see also we have another example like this. We can be able to re uh, replace one character. In this case, we, if we replace this B right here, right, this will give us four A's. If we replace this A right here, this will give us four B, right? So we're not interested in which character we replace. We just return. We just want to know what's the longest repeating, right, consecutive characters after we replace k number of times. So how can we be able to solve this problem? Well, to solve this problem, what we had to do is we had to use the sliding window technique. And the reason why we use sliding window technique here is because we want to find the longest repeating uh, character after we perform k number of operations for the character replacement. Right. So whenever we want to find the consecutive, right, the longest window or longest size or longest uh, uh, length of the substring, right, uh, for a certain condition, we always try to choose something using sliding window, right. So in this case, um, for our sliding window technique, we basically want to expand our window if our window continues to satisfy the condition, right. So in this case, what's the condition that we're trying to satisfy? What we're trying to satisfy is if the number of operations, right, if the number of character, number of character replacement, right, if so within our window, right, if number of character replacement is less than or equal to k, then that means we're still satisfying, right, right? That means we can still expand our window because the next character could be the most frequent character that we have in our window, so we can continue to expand. So let me show you an example here, right? So you can see this is our string, and in this case, what we can do is that we can try to first expand our window, right? So now we have A, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue to expand our window because right now this is the this is the most frequent, right? So once we reach the B, okay, so now we have K. So in this case, we can perform uh, we can be able to replace two maximum two characters in our in our window, right? To get to get the maximum to get the longest repeating characters. So in this case, we still have it, right? So num number of character replacement, right? We we have one, right? We have one number of number of characters to replace. In this case, just B. Once we get to A, it's still good. Once we get to B, right here, this right here is still okay, right? Because we can continue to expand because right now we can only replace two, right? In our window, we replace two already. Right, so we have this B and this B. We're going to replace that to A, right? Because A in this case is the most frequent characters, right? So what's going to happen then is we're going to have to expand our again. So once we realize that, okay, you know what, um, B, uh, we we we're going to replace either three A's or three B's, which is bigger than K. That means we ha that means we have to start to contract our window. So what we're going to do is we're going to start to contract our window, right? So now what's going to happen is now you can see we just have to replace two A's to match this condition. But if we, but while we satisfy the condition, if we keep track of the, lo the longest repeating character length, right? Before that, right? Before, if I go back like right here, right? While we looping through our window, right? While we sliding our window, we can keep track of the length, the, the max length, right? In this case, it, uh, in this case is five, right? And then what's going to happen is that we, once we expand to here, we don't satisfy the condition. Now we have to shrink our window. So in this case, we move to here. And then we realize that now we satisfy the condition. We check to see if our current window size is bigger than the max length. In this case, it doesn't. So it's still five, right? So then we expand it again. So same situation happened, right? So in this case, we have three A, three Bs. So in this case, we, what we have to do is we have to shrink our window again. So now we shrink our window. Now our window is balanced, right? Satisfy the condition. So what we had to do is we basically just going to update the, the max length. In this case, 
the max length didn't change, right? So that's basically how we're going to solve the problem. But the question is, how can we be able to get the number of character, right? How can we be able to find the number of characters to replace? So well, there's a couple of ways we can do it, right? So one way we can do is we can basically have a table, just like how we did it uh, in, in the uh, sliding windows playlist series, right? We can use a table, right? A hash table, keep track of how many characters appearance, right? They're in uh, each and every single character's appearance, right? So maybe like when we're here, right? We can keep track of there are three A's in our table and one B in our table, one B in our table, right? So once we get to here, okay, so what's gonna happen then is that if I want to know the number of characters that, we, that we're going to replace, first, what I have to do is I have to find the, um, the, the maximal, right? The most frequent character, right? The most frequent character, frequent character in this case is, is A, right? A appears three times. And the size of our string, so four minus three will basically give us the number of characters that we replace that, that we that we're going to replace, right? In this case, it's just one, which is B, right? Even though if let's say there is more than one, right? Let's say there's a C, right? It's still going to work, right? So now our size is five, and five minus the most frequent, which is basically just going to be two, right? So those are the two characters that we're going to replace, right? So so that 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 condition is still satisfied, right? So in this case, all we have to do is we basically going to loop through our table, right? We basically iterate our table and then we trying to find the maximum frequent character and then use that to find out number of character to replace. And then we can be able to use that to satisfy the condition, right? But in this case, what's going to happen then is that this will give us a time complexity of big O of um, N times 26, right? In this case, we have to iterate through the entire table, which has a size of 26, because like the, the question mentioned, right, there's only going to be uppercase characters. So we're assuming that there's 26 characters. So n times 26 will be our time complexity, right? So how can we be able to avoid that? How can we be able to bypass this iteration, right? How can we be able to improve the time complexity? Well, to do that, what we can do instead is we can do similar but having a variable called max frequency, right? That basically keep track of the maximum frequent character because all we care about is if we satisfy or don't satisfy the condition. We don't care about um, if if the, the the most frequent character, uh, the most frequent character, or yeah, the most frequent character number um, is 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 most up to date, right? So what we can do is that right out of the start, right? Because just like I mentioned, when we expand our window. We're not only going to update our table, right? For example, if we were starting here, A is one, right? And we also have to update the most frequent. So the most frequent initially is zero. So once we see that this character appear one time, so we update the, the most frequent, in this case, is one, right? And then we check to see if it satisfied the condition. And this is our condition that, we, that we're checking, right? We check the size of our life, right? Just like I mentioned, we wanna know if number of character replacement is less than or equal to k, right? If it's less than or equal to k, it's good. But if it's bigger than, but if it's bigger than k, then what we have to do is we have to start shrink our window, right? So this is what the condition is checking right now. So if it, in this case, it doesn't, right? Because k is two, and then the size of the the our window is one, one minus one is zero, right? So we continue. So we add one. We change that. Right, and of course, before we go to the next iteration, we have to update our max length. In this case, is one, right? So once we get to, once we expand our window, right? Now A is two, right? And then in this case, we calculate this. So in this case, is basically uh, two minus two, right? Because the most frequent now is two, right? So it's basically zero, right? So now we expand our window again. So now we have B, we put B in our window sorry, in our table. And then we basically see if most frequent is bigger than, than number of appearance for B. In this case, most frequent is bigger than B, so we don't change the most frequent. And then uh, we check to see, right? In this case, of course, we update the max length. In this case, max length three. And then number of character replacement in this case is basically just one, right? So we're replacing just one. So then we continue, right? So we move to A, so we change this and then we and then for the most frequent character it now it's going to be three right 
And then in this case, we check to see if this condition is satisfied. In this case, it doesn't. So we don't shrink our table, right? And sorry, we don't shrink our window, right? So we continue to move our forward. Before that, we have to update the max length. So now we have four. Okay, so we move one to the right. So in this case, B appeared two times. And then most frequent is still three, right? And then we check to see if it can satisfy the condition. In this case, it doesn't, right? In this case, the, this is five. Five minus the most frequent is basically two. And two is not bigger than K, right? K is this, right? So we continue, then we have B. Then what's gonna happen is that we update B. Um, sorry, we have to do this. Nope, we don't do this yet. Um, yeah, actually we have to do this. Um, and then basically what's gonna happen is that we know that the, the size is six, six minus the most frequent, which is three, which is three, three bigger than K. So therefore we had to shrink our window. So what's gonna happen then is that we basically move the left pointer. We, we overwrite this, right? We change the, the value of A in our table. And then, and then in this case, we don't really have to ch change the most frequent, right? Because in this case, if even uh, after we shrink our window, right, we don't have to change the most frequent because all we care about is if we if this condition is satisfied, right? So now we know this condition doesn't satisfy because in this case, our size of our um, our size of our, our window, right, is first of all smaller, right? So therefore, in this case, it basically um, basically it will bypass this condition, right? So now we don't have to. Uh, we don't have to shrink our window again, right? Because our size is smaller. So then we continue, right? So if we realize that our max frequency is bigger than this number, then we have to change the max frequency. So in this case, we expand. So let's say in this case, it, in this case is B, right? So let's say this is B. So then we expand and then we, we change B to four. Okay, so now the max frequency now is four, right? And then what's our max, what's our, what's our length in this case is gonna be, uh, in this case, we're going to have six, right? Six minus the most frequent is four, right? So therefore it's two. So now you can see we don't have to iterate the entire table to find the, the, the most frequent character, right? So in this case, in the code, it's very, very simple. Just like how we did it in the other sliding window uh, questions, we have our window, we have our max length and most frequent uh, variable to keep track of the most frequent um, character, right? Uh, appearance. So first we basically um, iterate, right? So we first expand our window and we update the most frequent. Um, in this case, we check to see if it's most frequent or the current character's uh, frequency, right? So we only shrink our window if we need to replace more than K character, right? So in this case, which, which is basically uh, wanna know um, if the number of characters that we going to replace is actually bigger than K. If it is, then we had to shrink, right? So in this case, this is the size of our window, the most frequent uh, character's appearance. And then in this case, if this condition is satisfied, we have to override them. We have to change the map and then we have to move the right, uh, the left pointer one to the right. And at the end, once we have our window satisfy the condition, right? Once the window it, um, does, not, does not satisfy this condition, does not, we, we, don't, we don't have to shrink our window anymore, then we update the max length and then we move the right pointer one to the right, right? So just like how we did it in other sliding window questions, this is very similar. And the trick is that we have to be able to use a most frequent variable to keep track of the most frequent uh, character's appearance, right? So basically you can see this is how we solve the problem and this is how we bring the time complexity down to big O of n.